Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. So uh, tonight we have a special show. We've been putting this show off and off and off for like a month now, at least, if not two. But we finally ran out of good stuff to review. And so tonight... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's the intro you give? Do you remember yes. how much crap he gave me last week? <laughs> this is just the way it is now, Do you remember how much Christian. crap you gave me last week? Jeez. Me? I didn't give you anything. Uh, okay. Yeah. You all over proceed. All right. Hey, oh, what? Hey, for some I'm reason... Taking... Christian, for some reason, your, like, Skype cut out there for a minute. Yeah, you super cool. broke up. So tonight, we're reviewing Transformers Candy. Oh, right? wow. You have some of that sealed candy? I do. I do. It's new in package. Um, I, I saw the other day somebody opened up, like, some Chef Boyardee from, like, the 80s, like the Ghostbuster one, and it was super nasty. Oh. Well, so, I heard that if we start reviewing chicken sandwiches, we'll get more popular. So I think we start with candy. Oh, we should. We tell, Well, no, the chicken sandwich is totally different. So uh, I still haven't had it. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out whether or not, like, they even have it at the uh, Popeye's by me. Do you I know? thought you did Is have it? it. I thought you had it the first time it came around. Nope. I never and got around I have to sat it. Through I'm giant so sorry for you guys. Twice now. Why? Damn. Why would you sit through a giant line? It's a chicken sandwich. Because it's what we wanted for dinner. So I sat there and drank Fanta. It was a good time. What was it that good? Did you guys like play D and D while you're waiting? Or no, I I sat there and drank Fanta and played on my phone. It was amazing. Watched some teenagers cause trouble and harass people. Good times. Mm. Well, this chicken sandwich is really good. Look, I feel really sorry for you guys, because here we just go to Bojangles, and everything's great <laughs> all the time. So, sorry. You know, I did go to Bojangles with, when I was in North Carolina, and it was really good. So, I will agree it's with you. It's the best. Yeah. For for a fast food joint, it's actually really good. Yeah. Oh, so, we, had, we had french fry sandwiches, so I think that was a accomplishment. Right. On the way to TFCon, we had French fry sandwiches. Yeah, we stopped at uh, what's the what's the place called again? Um, it's uh, Red Crema Crema Donna Perman- Permanti Perver. Brothers. Permanti there Brothers. There you go. Yeah. So they yeah they put they put like coleslaw and French fries on the sandwich. Gross. So no, it's really good. You wouldn't think fries it's maybe. Goodness. I've had a California burrito that has fries in it, but coleslaw on anything is disgusting. No, no, Lucas no. Lucas and our other friend really liked it. Yeah. Oh, I, I like how you're like, Lucas and our other friend like it. Not me. But he's, he's Mr. He's Mr. Oh, okay. I thought you were just joking that I didn't refer to him by name, but he's Mr. Private. So I figured that was appropriate. But then oh, me, I, like, it was all right. I just, I don't know. I think I'm past the point in my life where a, like, 4,000 calorie sandwich is that exciting for me. I mean, it's just like a little intense these days. It's a lot of now, carbs. Now, what about deep dish pizza? Tips. Like, if you had a, a 4,000 calorie slice of deep dish pizza, is that worth it? Like, I still like deep dish pizza, yeah. but I eat so much less than I used to. Yeah. Like, it's I used to go, I used to go to freaking Giordano's and eat like three slices, and I'd be like, "Give me more!" Rawr. And now what? it's like one slice. I know, I ate way too much back in the day. Wow. I think that's I'm a calm down. Because I can never eat that much deep dish pizza. And also, I would never eat Giordano's again. It was horrible. <laughs> I used to have... God, that place was garbage. Luminati's is the place to go Luminati's is and, good. Pequod's is the best. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay, well, anyway, on to the actual uh, Are reviews, we just going to so, talk about pizza? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, the first five minutes where we... Get off topic. Uh, so a, as I was saying, um, we're uh, we, we finally are reviewing Bob Bots. Um, so this is why we had to like go off topic for a while because you know we're we're building up to this thing. So um, it's time for Bot Bot Series Three. 
And we didn't even do the Lawn League or the uh, Bakery Bites or the Arcade. Oh, I did. Retro something. We've definitely talked about at least the eight packs of the Bakery B- Bakery Bites Lawn League on here before. That was just way back in the spring when I got them. Ah, uh, okay. Or the five packs, not the eight packs. Yeah, those are finally showing up on Amazon, though, right? Yes. No word on the eight packs, though. So the the super frustrating thing about that, though, is that, like, it's unlike Target, where you can go in there and, like, sort through all the cases to figure out which one you need with the randoms. Yep. Like, you have to just keep ordering it off Amazon, right? Like, even if... Now, did we confirm, like, if you ordered, like whatever five of them off amazon or something like that that you would get one like you would get a full case or there's no confirming anything with amazon like that it's especially troublesome with the arcade renegades because those are 16 packs but only one of them has all 16 you need and you can only order three of them ever they put limits on them so good luck or join the bot bots fan club and trading group that i host and trade up with everybody else that's what i did yeah that sounds like the wiser decision. Or if you're in Canada, you can go to Toys R Us and pick up the right one you need. It's pack number six. There you go. That might actually be the best route to go if you have Canadian friends. I, I don't know like yeah. what the exchange rate's like. but uh, It's in favor of us right now. So, yeah. So, I don't know. Or... or uh, yeah, I don't know. They, the Amazon thing, I don't know, it's kind of frustrating because, you know, it's just somebody randomly picking it out of the bin. So then, you know, yeah, it's it's completely it's, random. It's better than nothing. And you can get what you need out of the uh, Bakery Bites pack, I think, with just two packs. Any two packs, I think. It's I just been want a while to since I ordered my set, so I'm a bit shaken. I just want to point out, guys. That according to the comments, we should go back to talking about chicken sandwiches because Randall brought up the double down. And, like, apparently the fans are demanding that this is a chicken show. So I never had the double down, and I kind of regret (laughs) that I didn't. It was, like, one of those things at the time where I was like, okay, this is just ridiculous. It's, like, way too much sodium and and whatever. I distracted Lucas. (laughs) So, yeah. My my cat's, like, walking around and... Anyway, <laughs> I so, never tried it either, by the way. Um, I've eaten worse, though. I didn't well, either. I Pe- say, people here don't go to KFC because we go to Bojangles. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like KFC is like who goes there anymore because, like, you know, here, at least in, in Kansas City. You know, there's so many chicken places now. It's kind of the same thing like that happened to Subway where there's like a zillion sandwich shops, right? So it's like, why would you actually go to Subway unless you actually had to? I have like Swedish Brother mashed potatoes, so we have to go there sometimes. I thought you were talking yes. about Subway for a second. I did too. I was like, <laughs> what kind of Subway you didn't go Subway to? just has bomb mashed potatoes, guys. <laughs> I, I will That's give you the mashed extra potatoes. Extra relaxed tonight. I, I will give you the mashed potatoes. But the, the Popeye's mashed potatoes are pretty good, too. So. <laughs> Not as good as Subway's. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, Series 3 Bot Bots. Um, I'm going to say that the best place to get Series 3 is at Target, if you have a Target by you, because Walmart no it's longer the carries the only that. place. Yes. Well, Amazon. Walmart has dropped bot bots. Which is super frustrating. I don't understand. Will they pick them up again after Christmas, or for Christmas even? I think they'll bring them back again. I think they're going to put them in those um, Santa Claus the, bins. The middle the aisle things. Yeah. Yeah. They, those things got empty fast. Right, yeah, right. Out, so I'd imagine. So I imagine they're coming back. Yeah. So, and I know. Gotta um, do it soon, though. Well, they haven't yeah, set up their right stocking the stuffers yet. Um, I mean, yeah, oh, it'll yeah. be in a couple weeks. I guess we'll know. So. Yeah, it'll be before the Friday of Darkness. That'll be probably with Series 4. And uh, shout out to our castmate, PF, that's uh, Paul. He managed to pick me up most of a case of Series 4 today, and he's going to ship them to me tomorrow. 
I know I, I checked all around me when they got cited last week. Everyone here just seems to have just hit saturation on Series 3. So Paul was nice enough to pick me up uh, 18 to 24 of uh, Series 4. What a cool guy. What he's not saying to me, you can go pick him up at uh, his his store at collecticontoys.com. There you go. So Series 3. And I know you don't have series th- any of Series 3, right? Zero nope. Series 3? I'm here to talk about candy. Some. So, so I'm going to say, I, Rob in the chat is saying that Walmart sucks anyway. And and let me tell you that I am very appreciative of Walmart. Like, because before TFCon, I, I went in there and they had their 35th anniversary display. And I got to clear part of that out for, for people at TFCon uh, for those exclusive wow. Siege figures. So, bots. The 35th anniversary shows the bot bot show. <laughs> Quit getting off top. Oh, back on. T- okay, yeah, yeah. Fine. Sorry, right, Christian. I'll All play right, by the rules now. Sorry, tell I'm, me I'm about. Gonna... Tell me about the piano. I want to know about it. So the best, the best batch this time, is the season greeters. They're all holiday themed stuff. Here's Halloween night. This is Wizen Green and Melts Down. Um, Tell me about the snowman. I want to learn more. Hey, question right, so, for you on the snowman. Um, what's up? Christian, is he a blind bag or is he in one of the packs? He's in a blind pack. Okay. I think he's number 16. Okay. Does that have a place on its head so that you could put an ornament hanger and put it on your Christmas tree? Uh, you could put an ornament hanger on it, yes. I was going to mention that because I think they could redeco this like a bunch of times and the other guys too. And you can just go boop and hang them up. Really cool. That is he's great. Cute. And he transforms asymmetrically. I'm just ignoring your tone. <laughs> I like asymmetrical things. So there he is. The snowman head is his arm, which is really bizarre. It reminds me of like Beast Wars Megatron, which is kind of He neat. is Megatron <clears throat> in another body. Speaking of Megatron, uh, people who got MP, MP43 Megatron are really after this guy. This is Quackles because he's in, in scale to be Megatron's rubber ducky, which is great. Beast Wars fans pick up a Quackles. He's adorable. And which number is that? You can know. look it up easily using the yeah, internet. It's on, it's on TF I think it's Wiki. Six or eight. He's also in uh, multi packs as opposed to just blind boxes. If you're watching this show, it's likely that you have the internet, so Probably. you can look it up. But here he is in bot mode. He's just adorable. I mean, they're all adorable all the time. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, so I definitely think is one of my favorite. Has there been any change in, like, the plastic quality or the difficulty of transformation? Because I think something we talked about the last time we talked about BotBots was the fact that they're actually not that much fun to transform, which is counterintuitive. So I'm curious if that's getting any better or if they're pretty much just, you know, more of the same, for better and for worse. Uh, I think they're about the same, but I've always enjoyed transforming them. What is okay. improved, though, is the paint on all of these. Just like from one to two, two to three's had another increase in the number of paint applications, or at least the use or the vibrancy of those paint applications. I mean, here's a mold that we've seen before. This is the camera. Uh, we've seen this one probably three other times at this point, but they, they've made it a lighter color instead of a dark black color and uh, painted the lens. It looks rather nice this time. Um, that looks cute. I was going to mention, I'm showing this one, Christian, the the pineapple yeah. guy. And, like, the paint on there is, is actually pretty neat. Like, there's, like, some fade it's kind in of it. It's a gradient. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a paint gradient, like, which is, is pretty neat for, like, a little $2 toy, $3, yep. whatever it is. And then you have something like the watch, which we saw in traditional watch colors last time. This is more like <laughs> a swatch. And it's, you know, rainbow colored. I mean, they're just so vibrant now. It's kind of cool. Uh, we, this is uh, a repainted Dizzy Bones, the Maraca. So it's a new Maraca, but it's kind of inverted the colors. Again, more, just more bright, bright colors. 
That's cool. I do want to mention the worst bot bot ever has come out in this series. This is Bunches. It's like grapes. Yeah, his grapes. He turns into he's one of the fresh squeezes. And I'm gonna transform real quick and it is just the worst. So as you saw, I just kind of peeled off the bottom of the grapes. Here he is, and he just drags his grape tail along with him. Mm. That's um, that's pretty bad. I yeah. guess we'll get at least one repaint of this as green grapes, but oh, God. Gross. Or maybe it's some sort of, like, Resident Evil fungus that I can have grow on my other creatures. I guess. Uh, also so, included in question. Series 3, at least I include them, are the Con Crew, the San Diego Comic-Con packs, and their leader, Coffeemus Prime, who is opti- uh, a coffee cup guy cosplaying as Optimus Prime. It's really adorable. It is cute. This mask is actually, if you flip it inside out, it's like a coffee cup warmer, the cardboard ring that goes around. Yeah, the cardboard duder. It's that. And it's got Autobot symbols on it. I'm not going to show you because it's very delicate to transform, and I don't want to break mine, but it's very cool. Well, in the regular pack, they have a coffee cup as well, right? Yeah. Yep. And it's the same mold. So, question for you, Christian. Um, how, how many repaints are we getting with this line in general? Like, is it every seems mold like, like three repaints? or? It seems like three. Some of them, like the book which is originally Professor Well-Read, you know, you get a couple more than uh, three, but generally it seems like there's three paints of everything. Uh, one of the most interesting ones, I think, as far as, like, characters go, this is Citrus Guzzle Rush, and he's a repaint, or I guess she's a repaint, of Arctic Guzzle Rush from Series 1 and Tropic tropical guzzle rush from series two so it's like they have they're related the same name i don't know if they're supposed to be the same character that like changes flavors or if they're like related but it's kind of cool that they're reusing that name you know just to kind of tie them all together i think it's neat yeah like satellites well i I think one thing that's been kind of neat is is uh you know they've done some like pretty good repaints to where you're like Oh, I didn't realize that they're going to do this. Like, for example, I know you had mentioned the plunger, and then it's a bell. Like, it's a bell now. Yeah. Yeah. Which is. I just think fun. that's that's an incredible use of it. They haven't changed the mold at all. It's just by paint they've changed this into a bell as opposed to a plunger. If I tell you it's a plunger, yeah, it looks like it, but it also you know it passes pretty well. Another interesting one they did, probably the most interesting one they did, they changed uh, no bo and bo the deodorant into a tombstone (laughs) or Lucas and I went over before the show. This could be like a really goth emo kids deodorant if you wanted, but yeah, it's supposed to be a tombstone. But then you should call it reodorant. Exactly. I don't remember what this one's name is. Unfortunately, I got most of these guys right before I moved. So I haven't had the chance to like put them up and learn all the names again yet. So Sorry. Working on it. Um, but yeah, as far as repaints go, it looks like about a third of every series is repaints. Mm-hmm. Which is pretty good, I think. And the new set that they just announced, um, the gold, what is it, the gold rush? Or? Yeah, so it's BotBot's Golden Games. Golden Games. So that's like a subline imprint. Basically, you're, you're hunting for gold-plated Flatbots characters. I can't yet tell if they are new characters or old characters, just gold now. I think they're new characters, but the deal is that I think it's, they're supposed to be tying into the Olympics that are happening next, happening next year. The thing I think is neat about that is the packaging. It seems like it's really, really cool. Yeah, there's two new packaging styles. Uh, one is a uh, claw machine game, and that's supposed to come with, I think, seven bot bots and three stickers and they all come in like little capsules they kind of look like the normal blind box capsules but they are harder so they can kind of roll around in the machine and there's like a vending machine one too i think those are going to be exclusives to probably amazon i guess i don't think they've actually said where those are coming out yet 
<clears throat> That'll be fun. Another mold that we've seen a lot is this bat. It was yeah. Batsby and Big Body mm-hmm. and one other one, and now it's uh, this one. Getting a bit old, but they keep coming with different paint schemes for it, and I guess that's fine. This is supposed to be more like a Nerf bat, which is nice. They, you know, they keep coming with good paint schemes. It's not like I'm, I'm getting tired of any of them, except for Stringaling. Huh. Stringaling is a repaint of Frohawk from the Toilet Troop in Series 1, and it's a repaint in the exact same colors. It's got now graffiti on the side of it, front of it, and the, I think the hair slash nozzle is different, but it's still black and purple, or black and pink, whatever color that is. Black and pink. Is this supposed to be a bottle of Silly String now? Yes. I understood from the name. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I'm not happy with that one either. Well, and I am what's kind of frustrating about that one is, is that I think that that one comes in like a lot of the packs too, right? Yeah. So that that's the thing is, is like, oh boy, it's it's barely a repaint, and I get it like a thousand times. Well, and last time they released it as Rebugnant, which was a green and orange can of bug spray. That was oh. great. It's totally different. Releasing the same colors is a, a big misstep. There must have been some sort of miscommunication there. That one you just held up. Is that one easy to get? The dumb fire yes. in a box thing? Yeah. So yeah. This is Yule B Board. He's part of the season's <clears throat> readers too. And this is a mold we've seen in both series before as Goob Tube and TV Cop. And this is one where the repaints really shine through. All these screens on the TV, it's a TV if you can't tell, are. Uh, very detailed. I mean, the first one was just kind of multicolored bars, like there's no signal. And the second one was an exclamation mark, like it was concerned. And then this one is a, a Yule log, obviously. And they keep doing a really good job repainting this mold. So I don't know why this one can do really well, and this one can do really poorly. I need to get um, one of that for my mother. Guys. Yeah, does your mom like Yule logs? She, she always has a fake fireplace. All right. Yeah, well, so I feel like she needs that to commemorate her fake fireplace. She's been collecting fake fireplaces for like 15 years. He also well, turned into a bot that has like a Santa outfit. That is cute. Yeah. I think she would also enjoy that, perhaps. Let's see, there's a couple other new team additions. So I've talked about the season's greeters. Uh, there's also, what is this one called? Playroom Posse? No, this one is the... Nursery something. Something about baby stuff. All right, guys. This is Nampy. He's like a baby crib, which is kind of cool. And he's got a different transformation scheme to just about everybody else with these giant wings. <clears throat> oh, Paul Paul says he's out hunting for your uh, bot bots as we speak. I know he is. I thought he already He's looking got for it. my remaining six. He's looking for I... the remaining six. Uh, that's that's interesting, but so it's just a baby crib with kibble inside of it in crib yeah. mode. All yeah, right, so it's a bit disappointing thing. because the the robot mode's pretty cute. Yeah, it's fun, but the fact that it's a crib which is kibble inside of it's kind of a disappointment. But I kind of like, like she turned a baby. Though. I kind of like the, the bottom. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. He's, it's a different style of bot mode to any other bot bot that's come out so far it yeah. just it looks different it's which is fine the it looks great part just needs to fold up and be a baby or something yeah i know uh but they've also done the i forget what the, i'm really sorry about the name here but they've included a repaint of the cell phone mold as a baby monitor huh. so it's it's pretty highly detailed here and that'll work for you. Also, they've done uh, the tool bag. Uh, it's now named Nanny Mick Bag, and it's like a nanny baby supply bag. It's kind of neat. You can see by the kind of warmer colors. <clears throat> Finally, the best one of the playroom posse and baby stuff is Cuddle Wuddle. This is the return of Beast Wars, folks. 
It is a <laughs> robot that turns into a bear. That's as close as we're going to get for a while. He's a cute little teddy bear. I, I, really I just want to say that I'm highly offended by Rob's comment that he's uh, talking about, you know, how that next week that we're going to feature the stuff I collect and it's going to be some kind of garbage cyberverse. It's not a comment. It's a prophecy. It shall be fulfilled. I, you know, I just, I, I don't appreciate that, Rob. I don't actually know what we're going to talk about next week, but I really do think it should be some some garbage you like. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even sure what we're going to do next week. I'll have to come up with something. Just stick to your trash can. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, sorry to end We that. have our schedule. Don't worry, fans. We have our schedule planned years in advance. Yes, yes. We did at one point. No, we did. I, I mean, it's a physical document. I don't know if either of you ever opened it. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Well, thank you. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right. So I've shown you the worst of the wave, which is definitely bunches or string a length. Either one is horrible. Best of the wave. It's hard to pick one best. So I think, can I pick a new mold and a repaint that I like the best? Yes. Okay. I think the new mold I like the best is Wiz and Green, the Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty convincing Christmas tree. It transforms normal BotBot style. Boom. That's oh, dude. That's cute. Yeah, this one's a good one. It looks like it's singing like a caroler. Oh, yeah. I didn't really notice that, but yeah, Anna's right. It does look like it's caroling. It's a season's greeter. It has to carol. You're, you're absolutely <clears throat> right about that. And then my favorite repaint, I think, is going to have to be uh, Dingledy Doo. <laughs> it's not. It's not a complicated repaint. It's literally just swapping two colors. Really, only one color. But what they did with it and turning it into something completely different is just so innovative that I really want to reward that. It's just. It's so much fun what they can do with these. I just, I love it so much. I can see it too. <laughs> I think I, I really want Christian to like post this on the, like a bunch of the Facebook groups, you know, right. And just say the innovation at Hasbro that they repainted a figure from red to yellow plunger bell, like, Cutting edge right there. I love it. That's the thing, though. Like, Christian actually appreciates repaints. Like, clever and innovative repaints. Like, I think it's actually really interesting to listen to him talk about it. Because, like, I disagree, like, 90% of the time. But it's, like, it's cool to see someone who can actually appreciate it. (laughs) I think when a repaint is done well, it, it, it can change a toy completely. Like this one. Um, this one's a bit less successful. Yeah, See, that one is better to down. keep because it's goth deodorant. And I'm super pumped. Goth deodorant is good. <laughs> Reodorant you know, is the here's best. Here's another one I haven't shown. It's the football, but now it's blue and green to be a Nerf football. That's kind of nice because it's just so neon. If you want a G2 like box, here you go. I think... Um, no, I mean, I, I think overall, I think that these are really fun toys. And, and honestly, like, if you're comparing them to um, the, um, what, what the heck are the other things that came out? Um, Shopkins. Like, if you're comparing them to Shopkins or something like that, like, I think that these are the better value. Like, if I'm buying this for my kid, like, it transforms, they can fiddle with it. And, you know, I said this before, so I... to. To me, I actually think, like, as a parent, like, I buy these for my kid over whatever the competing stuff is, like, grocery gang or whatever the the other, you know, $3 blind bag toys are, so. That seems to track with who's actually buying BotBots. You know, I started the group, (laughs) the trading group and fan club group on Christmas last year because for Christmas, my family got me a bunch of BotBots and I had a whole bunch of doubles. What I thought I was going to get was a bunch of collectors like me who actually joined was all of the parents of the kids that are enjoying this line so much. So shout out to all the parents that are in that group. And if you're a parent looking for bot bots, 
definitely come on over because that's who's in this group. It, it's incredible to see the audience was just so different than what I thought it was going to be. And I'm glad it's, it's found a home. You know, <laughs> we, we had series three announced, we had through 2019 announced and they waited to the last possible second to scare me. And, and now series four, I kind of thought it was going to be over. I'm glad it's not. I'm glad it's continuing. I'm glad kids love it. I'm glad parents love it. I'm glad I love it. So and, I, uh, you know, Bop, bop, I, think, I think it's interesting that Hasbro has really done a fantastic job of capturing the younger demographic. Like I for think once. that the the rescue bots no, I mean they've been doing this for a number of years. Like from the time that Rescue Bots came out, it I think that Rescue Bots is the longest running Transformers show. Um and now they're on Rescue Academy. And I mean, the toys are are, are cool for the age. Um, and the show is really good. It's honestly probably one of the better Transformer shows for the age. And, and, and so these bot bots is kind of the same thing where it's like they pull in these kids that are, you know, ages four and five, three, whatever, right? Um, six, seven. But then it's like, I feel like that for whatever reason, they've kind of lost them. Now, I, I do actually think Cyberverse has somewhat been, um, a you know a win for them like i think that I so. it's it, i think it's brought in more kids like it seems like it's it's um been more popular than than rid i could be 100 percent wrong on this but i it'd be interesting to see that these kids that they bring in now with the with this stuff what is hasbro going to be able to do to hold them and keep them collecting transforming robots Yeah, definitely. I think bot bots are a great way to get kids in because they've got that surprise factor. They've got that blind collect them all factor. And then I've seen a lot of unboxing videos for them. Uh, they seem to have captured that demographic too. And to be fair. And they also transform. It's a, it could be an introduction to Transformers. And I think that these are great ambassadors for the brand. I honestly think these are like 10 times the value of MicroMasters. Like with the price and you know the number of you, the number you get, the moving parts, the innovation, the variety of the molds and body types, I really do think these are good value tiny transformers. Whereas the MicroMasters are kind of like eh, value tiny transformers. I had never thought about that. I, I think they're yeah. I I, I like variety, right? I like my figures to be different from one another well yeah so 10 bucks you get two micromasters or 10 bucks you get five bot bots right and the five bot bots even though there's repaints in the line the five you get in that package are all going to be a different body type mm -hmm. and the the two micromasters will swing mm -hmm. very close to each other in most cases so the cassettes the cassettes are relatively That's divergent true. sort yeah. of except they all have the same alt mode but Hey. Yeah, I think Series 3 is only the, the is the first time that we've had Ooh, Rob paints of the same figures in the same series. But I think that's because we had a multitude of exclusive packs. Like, this one came in regular Series 3. This was in the Arcade Renegades pack. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, this one was in the Con Crew and this one was in the Arcade Renegades pack, so they're both exclusives, so you wouldn't get them at all in the normal packs. Um, here's See. two. I actually think this is a Series 2 one, because I'm wrong, so you just get one. So yeah, I think I think you're right. In the same line, you're going to get a lot of repaints of MicroMasters, but in the same you know series of BotBots, all, all of those going to be available at the same time. Uh, you're not going to get the same figure. So apparently uh, we need to have Rob on here as our counterpoint to everything. I know. Uh, so so Rob in the chat is saying, my issue with BotBots as a line is how many are open a shell, hey, there's arms, it transforms. <clears throat> in that vein, MicroMasters are much more appealing to me. And I just, I, I have to say, like, there are enough BotBots. Just don't buy those ones. Like, buy the ones that are not the open the shell, pull out the arms type things. There are plenty that transform in interesting and innovative ways um, that are different than the others. So I think like, you know, much like how I avoid 
buying repetitive molds from Siege or Combiner Wars or whatever, I think you can avoid buying repetitive transformations from Bob Bots. And since there's freaking like a hundred in every set, there's so many. There's 216 through Series 3. <sighs> oh, I was going to ask you about the, um, what is it, Jack-O-Lantern, whatever his name is. So Halloween Night. Halloween Night. Is he, is he a parts former she. or she whatever? I'm trying to figure this out because I my kid lost the instructions. Like, does this, what happens to this front plate here? Are you just ripping apart the poor pumpkin? No, I, I, my kid ripped it apart, and so I'm trying to figure out. I two pumpkin murders on my show tonight. I'm very sad. I love pumpkins. I've only transformed these a couple times, so my joints are still rather tight. So if you wanted, that could be it. Okay. Halloween night. What you're supposed to do is, like your kid did, detach the face. Yeah, so you rip the face off. Oh my face god! And then, and then it because turns she's into got this she's got devil. scary ears. Yeah. And then this part turns into her shield because uh, she's a knight with a K. Okay. See, there's your innovation, Rob. It's a part <laughs> yeah, one. And and I also want to mention to Rob too. Christian's mentioning all of these have super tight joints, and I bet you've gotten some masterpieces where you've had loose, crappy joints, especially third party. <laughs> so there you go, Rob. You see another parts former. So this is uh, Sensei Spiny. This is Sensei Spiny, the pineapple with the gradient we talked about earlier. And you know, to Rob's point. A lot of these are kind of like pull out the arms, pull down the face plate, uh, pull out the legs, which I'm going to do here. But there's a twist on a couple of them where boop, you pull out the central leaf of the pineapple. Oh, look at that. And that is his sword. It's got a sword. Oh. So I think this is a remold of like Hammer Eye from Series 2. It functions the same way if it's not a remold. But yeah, it's got a cool sword. So even these guys have, you know, little weapons that come with them. Not all of them, but some of them do. And when they do, it's really well done. That's the thing I'm saying. It's like, I feel like because, and you know, because there's so many bot bots, because every line is relatively big, if you want to pick and choose and pick up your, like, you know, five to ten per line, you can definitely get five to ten innovative ones that you like. And you know, you don't have cool to sit there like and just buy 600 hockey pucks. No. Yeah. I, yeah. Good but yeah, no, I think, I think Rob, dogs. like, Jimmy. I'm collecting yeah. exactly like Rob is, is where it's like, I wanted Halloween night. Like, that was the one that I really wanted. So I got I the want Halloween pack night. Um, and, you know, there's, there's a couple that, like, you know, I listened to Christian and I said, all right, Christian, what are the top ones? And so, you know, that's where I, you know, tried to pick out, uh, you know, some of some of those. So, yep. um, but yeah, like I, I would definitely suggest for anybody, um, you know, to go on TF Wiki and, uh, you know, take a look at them and see which ones you want. And then yeah. they have the corresponding numbers on there and then you can go and the blind packs actually are not blind. They have the numbers on them, and then you can just go and try to, you know, find the one that you want. Uh, it might yeah, take some hunting, that, but... Well, BotBot's, like, I mean, it's a line that I'm not collecting, but it's a line I definitely really, really like. Like, I think it's really, I think it's really cool. Like, I appreciate it as much as I hoped I would. I just don't enjoy owning them as much as I hoped I would. So I'm really glad that, you know, there's people like Christian and um, all the you know, adults and kids alike that are collecting them that are going to keep the line alive and selling pretty well. But at the same time, you know, it's not really for me, but neither Cyberverse. And I don't think that's terrible either. Now. Used to be. Got better. Bob Bots is always been good, though. I, I think I say each time that I never thought that this would be for me. I picked up one pack just to see, 
you know, oh, this is a cool new line. Let's see what it's about. They transform into everyday objects. I'll get like the techie team so I can get like a, you know, some cool computery things, whatever. I'll put it by my desk. Um, and that was it for me. I, I picked the, the one. The one I got came with Burgertron. It was a my favorite bot bot today. Transforms to a hamburger. It's just so simple and so elegant. Uh, well painted, good plastic, fun figure, and most of them stick to that. I love it. Yeah. So and I, I think it's funny because I was afraid that when this line came out, I was going to have to buy them all. Like I was like, oh crap, I'm going to have to buy all these stupid little bot bots and I'm going to love them. I'm going to have to keep collecting them and they're going to like usurp my rock lords. It's the best thing in my collection. And they have it. They're just kind of like little things. No one will ever beat my rock lords. I can say that I've only asked someone overseas that I didn't really know that well to go to a store and pick up toys for me in one situation it was for bot bots so, <laughs> so, malaysia had the the eight packs of the lawn league and i knew a, i found a guy in the bot bots trading group who was willing to to mule a couple for us and uh they came on the slow boat from there but they made it and i, I would never do that for something else i don't think but i did and i'm very happy no no bump of chicken no not quite. Bot bots. Yeah. So I, I will say personally, I actually kind of prefer bot shots to bot bots. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Like, I didn't realize I was going to, like, get that reaction out of you there, Christian. I, I like the bot for? I like the bot shots. I don't I'm know. Sorry. I always really like those. Okay, fine. I. I really wish that you didn't have brain damage. <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> so, so Rob ha also in the chat is trying to uh, say that Creo was better than this, and <laughs> Creo got me like this did, but I was able to escape Creo because I was like, "What am I doing? These are so dumb. They're very low quality stuff." Botbots it, fixes everything that I had wrong no. with the Creo microchangers. He, he didn't weird. actually say that. He just said that this is going to suffer the same fate as Creo. Which I don't. I mean, I Creo is still available this, today, so. I, I do. I do think that these uh, the bot bots like. I mean, it's probably going to be another year, and then it's probably going to be done. I can't imagine that don't it's going to be. Uh, like, Botbots <laughs> forever. Come on, there's no way that these things last like. I mean, maybe There's two no years. no way Rescue Bots lasts 10 years. Right, no that's what I was going to say. <sighs> Shopkins has been going on since like 2010 or 2011. I imagine that there's people who said that there would never be this crazy lady in her mid-30s collecting freaking rock lords 30 years later. But guess what? I'm here. I like rocks. Right? Right? Rocklets have persevered. Botbots can persevere. Watch there be a Botbots rock series. You know what? Actually, I actually have a great idea. Next week's show should be Rock Lords, and we bring Rob on, and you and him could fight it out between your Rock Lord collections. This is way larger than mine. Yours is way I started than first, but then he was <laughs> yeah, just like, the say. buddy, he has the ball. I have three. That is one way to do a collection, you know, just to grab your sack of money and throw it at it. But see, that's why I appreciate Christian, whereas, like, he's in it to win it. Like, he's like, you know what, I'm going to stop collecting <laughs> all this junk, like, masterpiece and third party and whatever. I'm going to focus on bot bots. And, and see, you could do that too, Anna. Just sell off all your high-end stuff in rock. I mean, I could, but I, I like everything. The stuff on my desk right now, I have three figures on my desk, and it's so eclectic. And this is like me. This is what is appropriate. So I'm really happy with my toys. I was thinking earlier that, you know, maybe I ought to just quit collecting everything else and go straight bot bots. That's That's wild. Probably, I'll probably stick around to, to, to our generation of the main line, but. Yeah, bot bots are that good to me. 
Rob says he hasn't thrown money at Rock Lord, so there you go, Anna. Well, I think we have different definitions of throwing money. I, I think that you probably, I think he's done some great uh, finds on eBay is probably what's happening. I don't think I've ever paid more than $10 for a rock lord. Well. I think I be- have like basically approached rock lords as a flea market slash thrift store phenomenon for funsies. I'm not quite been willing to go and hunt down the, you know, 30 plus dollar rock lords. <laughs> And it's like, oh, Mr. Moneybags Rob over here is spending thirty dollars on a figure. Right, right, it's wild and crazy. Who would ever do that? So, um, yeah. So as far as the the bot bots, um, like I will say, my favorite is definitely Halloween night. I was, I've been happy with this. That's with her. That's a really, oh, really good choice. I think that one, I think that the, you said Wizzing Green, is that right? Like, that's yeah. a really good one, too. Thank you for recommending that one. Um, the pile of presents is, it's, it's, just, it's blocks. It's blocks. They're blocks, okay. It should be presents. It, it could be presents. It, it might be presents. someday. But then it's not really, there's not really a difference in the, like, I guess you just flip up the head and pull out the... Oh, wait, I guess that's the transformation in all of them, right? <laughs> this does have articulation, though, so you got that going for you. Has, has uh, you know, tilt. So, but anyway. But, yeah. No, I, I'm happy with picking up my couple. Um, it, it's like... I, I think it's a fun find. You know, it's like trying to hunt them down at Target. Like, I had to go to a couple different Targets, and it's one of those things where it's like, you know, run into a Target and do your other shopping or whatever, and, oh, hey, look at that. They actually got the Bob Bots that I wanted. So, um, you know, that's kind of the way I've handled it myself. So, um, that's and, fun. and from that standpoint, it's been pretty fun. So, I mean, it, it transforms a bit differently. It goes upside down. Huh. That's a thing. These little eyes up here. Yeah, Rob, I'll totally watch while I'm teaching class. You got it, buddy. You can do it. Yes, you should just do that live from your class, you know. Just uh, just put it up on the big screen and be like, all right, guys, we're going to do the psychology of rock wards. Yeah, they are definitely taking an exam tomorrow night. I'm sure they would really appreciate me live streaming <laughs> during their exam. <laughs> that's, that's perfect, then. Or you Sorry, can watch kids. it later. So I heard that I heard that on YouTube you can actually like watch stuff like after it goes live. That's amazing. So, How do you do it? Cause you show me. Yeah. So anyway, um, so Anna, do you for this these bot bots? You have zero of the new wave. Are you planning on accurate. picking the the you you're planning on picking up the Yule log, and then this the Halloween night too. Is that right? So I might go try to find a good um, Seasons Greeters pack that has most of the ones I want in it. That I might try to do, but it'll probably be if I'm already at Target and I I happen to wander over to the toy aisle. Um, but, you know, I was there tonight, but in too much of a rush to run over and grab them. So it may not happen or it might happen. You never know. Um, it's not like super priority. I do want the pumpkin because I think pumpkins are cute, but... Um, I'm not going to cry if I miss it. I have some potential bad news for you because, um, unfortunately, the good ones are spread apart or, or spread across all the season greeters lines. Because, like, I looked, at every, I looked at every, like, five and eight pack. And, <clears throat> yeah, so it's it's kind of annoying. Like, I had to get a couple uh, of the season greeters packs to get all the ones I wanted. Yeah, well, we'll see what I do. I mean, if I want to give the U-log to my mom, then... The pumpkin to myself. You can always check the Botbots fan club and trading group. No, I think I have to hunt down the snowman so that I can heat it from the Christmas tree. Because I mean, that's a lot cheaper than a Hallmark Transformers oh, ornament, yeah. right? It's a better... He's great. I think it's a better purchase. Because then I can wander over to the Christmas tree and be like, transform it. <laughs> 
Is that the noise you make while transforming things? Oh, is it, how, is it that the noise everyone makes? Hey, yeah. I, I just want to <laughs> mention that I'm proud of us that we managed to go 50 minutes on, on Bot Bots in Chicken Well, we went like 20 There's minutes like on Chicken Sandwich. Like of them. That, that is true. So we got off topic like a lot, so... We did, we did, we did. Off topic. It's funny, because we keep talking about how we're going to add this new thing to microcasters, where we do just 20 minutes of a featured figure, and then the other two of us are going to bring in other things we want to talk about for five minutes each, and this is like the third week in a row we said we're going to do that, and the third week in a row we definitely take more no. than 20 minutes. Well, main no, topic. Bot Bots is different, because like there's a ton of them, so, I mean, anytime you review... Speculation keeps things. different. There's a ton of hev. And we went like five years on him. That took forever. No, it just felt like that. I actually think it was one of our shorter episodes. Oh, well. (laughs) So, anyway. All right, well, uh, tune in next week where we have no idea what we're reviewing. But uh, We're going to talk about calculation key more. I'm going to take it apart and show you the different parts. Do you have more knockoff trash that you're getting next week? I I don't have any knockoff trash. Mm -hmm. I only have knockoff treasure. So, pretty flame towards yeah. Megatron. Oh, that might actually be a good, a good. Oh thing. yeah, we can talk about model kits. There, there you go. I put together a model kit last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a transformer. Yeah, we actually. Uh, I do have my Optimus. You know, what we yeah. should do this. You could have an addendum because, like Rick, uh, on on cut the tape, he had. Uh, Optimus, like, did the Flame Toys Optimus, right? And he, like, doesn't build model kits at all, right? And so then we could actually have, like, you and we can put, you know, have Sean come on to talk about how to actually properly paint them and, you know, things like that. To actually, like... Oh, Sean has had to probably paint them? I need to talk to him then. Well, I mean, not necessarily model kits in general, but, I mean, he does like customizing painting he makes and nice whatever. customs so yeah the, like honestly sean it's almost like too much for me because he he will spend hours upon hours like making sure that everything is 100 percent perfect and i am not like that like i just want it good enough like i'm like i just want to put some paint on there a couple you know a couple things of paint and some clear coat and call it a day and and you know his process is much more detailed and intricate. It's nice that at TFLP we have various talents. Sean can customize. Robert can make like images and thingies with the computer. Paul is making an innovative show, and I make wonderful jokes. And we also have Mr. Starscream, whose voiceovers are incredible. Yeah, his identity Talent. is unknown even to us. We are talents outside, out, we are just really talented. <laughs> yes, except for me. I don't know how I managed to get on this thing. So, anyway. I did not right. list off your talent. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. So, uh, out to my wallet tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Uh, Rob will be back uh, hosting the show. Um, cut we the tape. We we'll, I, we'll have a cut the tape up on Friday. Um, and we should have a live TFLP again, uh, this week as well. So, um, I guess that's it. So we will, um, if you like what we do, check us out on Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash TFLP. And we have tiers as low as a dollar, um, for support. So, (laughs) yeah, um, uh, Randall says I'm the token normal guy. Yeah, that's I I guess I'm normal. Sure, we'll we'll say that. We were we were just talking about that before the show. You were like Lucas is super normal. So yeah yeah. Anyway, all right. So uh, talk to everyone later. See ya. See ya.